today we will attempt a little experiment. Um, this is my 2010 iMac and we will try to get Windows 11 installed on this computer. Now, really important note, this is no stock iMac 2010. It has a NVIDIA graphics card, uh, 765M, that I flash with a video bias. And it also runs Mojave. And I also have Windows 10 on a partition. Now, an important note, when you're doing a complete fresh install, um, then the original bootcamp software is not going to work because it's only supported up to, what, Windows 7? Uh, maybe Windows 8, but not Windows 10. And so you will have to create a partition in Disk Utility and boot the Mac up with USB and install it there. So I reckon on it's going to be the similar process with Windows 11 as well. Uh, also, you still have to do a workaround if you do a USB install. So then maybe click the link in the description and uh, check out how to create the Windows 11 unsupported USB. Uh, but we will do a different thing. We will update it from the Windows 10. And here we are. Lovely Windows 10 has booted up. I don't know what's the version of it. Let's just quickly check. Winver. It is 21H1. I don't know how recent that is. Um, maybe we will run into issues with the updater for, for Windows 11 if this is too old or something. But... Uh, we'll worry about that later, because right now, let's get our Windows 11 ISO file. Now, I know that some people might say, why do you do an upgrade? Why don't you do a clean install? That's the way to go. Um, I'm doing an upgrade because I got it running pretty well the way it is. You know, I have this custom video card, so I installed the custom NVIDIA driver, the 765M driver. I installed the boot camp. You know, all the controls work, the sound works, the Wi-Fi works, and all that stuff. My theory basically is if I update to Windows 11 with those drivers installed, that most of them, or if not all of them, just continue working fine. Well, if I did a fresh install, I don't know how that's going to behave and how many hacks I would have to do, especially on a boot camp side of things, because, you know, <laughs> and as you can see, everything's wrong here. We don't have a CPU that's compatible. We don't have TPM 2.0. We don't have secure boot. So let's go ahead and get rid of those messages and make it install in any case, all right? Okay, I just found out that there is even as little as one single register hack to do. So we, we're gonna add only one key into the registry. So we'll open up regedit, all right? Then I'll make it a little smaller as you can see stuff. Then we're gonna go to H key local machine system setup mo setup. Here we have our mo setup. And now we right click here, new, and create a D word value 32 bit. And we call it allow upgrades with unsupported. TPM or CPU. So <laughs> pretty self-explanatory what it is. And we also need to set that to one so it is activated. So let's create here our D word value. Now we click OK and that should be it. Oh no. Huh. Um well, that's bad. That didn't work. <laughs> All right, let's try with a reboot uh, and see if the error comes back. Well, unfortunately, after reboot, the message is still here, but our CPU error is gone. That was previously too, so maybe we can also try to get rid of those still. I don't know why it didn't work though. So I'm back here in our Mo setup and I found a different article which does it um, a different way basically. And so I will try that. However, I'm not sure if I should leave this here, you know, this old key. But if I don't, it's probably going to complain about the CPU again. Um, yeah, so 
why don't we why don't we do something um let's go into setup and and let's just see um and we'll create a d word again and call it bypass tpm check all right set that to one okay we'll create another one and call it bypass ram check also set that to one and do a final one call it bypass secure boot check also set that to one and now <laughs> let's see yeah still here still the same shit here okay you know what guys um i really get the feeling that our windows 10 is just too old uh because again i haven't updated this in a very long time so i'm gonna go back here to reg edit and delete that stuff i just added because i don't want some crap floating around in the windows if this doesn't fix it hmm, then this is a kind of a special case with the mac again but yeah why should it care that it's a mac you know it's acting as if it is a pc i don't know well i ran out of the windows updates and unfortunately that didn't change anything but at least we're up to date now um so we're gonna try the next best thing i found here on tom's hardware we will download this um tool which will fool the updater into thinking we have supported uh, dpm um yeah we will see about that i honestly no idea but we already tried this let's copy that stuff um create a file got that we'll call it um whatever bypass.cmd we're gonna rename it the way they, they want us to skip tpm check all right okay see what it will do user account control click yes open up a powershell skip tpm check on dynamic update whoa 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 okay so that should be it according to the guide so now we should be able to run the update right i don't know guys so um even though i ran all the updates in the official updater it still doesn't uh, it's still not the the latest windows 10 and so i downloaded the windows 10 update assistant i'm sure you know this utility and that forces if you update that forces the latest uh, version on it so let's do that hey our computer is compatible awesome so let's do that hopefully that works we will see okay this has been installing for a bloody long time it didn't freeze though but i don't know what it pulled down there <laughs> could it be that it pulled down windows 11 i don't know probably not it's windows 10 update but maybe it was just on such an old version that you needed to update it so much yeah so yeah was apparently quite an old version installed on here um but i hope it all is worth it in the end so we can update this to 11. well thank you for updating to the latest windows 10 well good okay now that we got this latest windows 10 um at least i hope at this point because i'm sick of updating this thing but it, yeah let's see if it now finds something here i don't know oh even more updates gotta be kidding me okay well let's run those i suppose well look what i found i found here the integrity check for the windows 11 update and <laughs> i like how it says it's two years old yeah uh, add another 10 then you're there um 
Yeah, but um, I'm still updating this stuff. There's still updates coming in. But I'm not sure um, if the updater hack really works. So uh, let's see. Oh my god, yes. Uh, it really took a long time to get to this point. Um, still no Windows 11 popping up. Also here in the Insider program. It says my, my PC doesn't fulfill the requirements. So um, I'm going to try the first trick again. <laughs> Maybe it works now. Who knows? You know, the original plan here. Or is it this one? And now we're trying to start it. Ha ha ha! Look at that. We can finally accept the license stuff. So we didn't get that far before. All right, now it's getting somewhat exciting. Okay, so let's accept. Um, yes, please. Keep everything. Um, it's probably gonna take an eternity. <sighs> yeah, I could have guessed that I have to install all the million Windows 10 updates before. Hmm. No, I didn't. But I think we finally got to the point where it will work. Or at least install. That's only like part of the story. If it installs, fine. But will it work? Will it run with the drivers and all that? So here you go, ready for install, Windows 11 home single language. All right, let's see if that works. Okay, here we are. What? What? <laughs> Windows Server? Are you mad? Like it literally said before Windows 11 home and now it's installing Windows Server? I hope that's just a glitcher. What? You know what? As long as it's Windows 11, I don't care. Is there even a Windows 11 server release? I don't know. But that's, that's weird indeed. Very weird. Because the license that's on this Mac right now is a Windows 10 home license. Just nothing special. So, uh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Here we are guys, it just installed Windows 11, no problem at all, didn't even take that long, oh my god, so I haven't tried it out nothing yet, but from the first look, everything seems to be in order, we got the graphics acceleration, so I really worried about that a little bit because of, you know, the aftermarket GPU and all that, but hey, it's just an Nvidia card, um, and maybe I have to update the driver to make it perfect on Windows 11, but truth be told, it runs normal, just like it's supposed to. Um, and honestly, from the first look, um, it, it seems to me as if this runs just as fine as it did on Windows 10. Now, I haven't done any, you know, benchmarks and in-depth performance stuff. And as you can see, there's already some updates. So that makes stuff even better, I suppose. Um, but what I'm really curious now is the device manager. See if we have any question marks on a device manager. Nothing at all. Looking all very good. It just works. And... <laughs> This can be a perfect Windows 11 machine. Like, no questions asked. Easily capable of doing such stuff. Runs it just fine despite having here this old i7 first gen. And here 765M graphics card, 12 gigs of RAM. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I like how it worked this well. Also the Mac fan control which is a really essential piece of software that I need on this Mac because of the fans. Um, that all works. Um, there seems to be no problem at all. Really cool. And I even spotted something funny when we go into the settings here. 
it says your iMac 11 comma 3 that's <laughs> so funny but it says that now the um, boot cam stuff works good now yeah brightness control doesn't work but i didn't do that as well in windows 10 so that's not a big deal now this obviously doesn't have hdr um you can see there but yeah uh scaling yeah let's leave that all that is um, there you can see it 765m on the updates we got uh oh what have we got just windows updates um no driver updates that's kind of funny on the nvidia website um i checked here 765m and Windows 11 and they didn't find any drivers. So when you click here, it all, all it does is just look and doesn't find any drivers. But still, it works fine on Windows 11. So this older driver, which is probably Windows 10 driver, that works just fine. Despite, uh, you know, or maybe they're working on a Windows 11 driver. What do I know? But you know, despite this graphics card being not the newest anymore, not the most powerful, uh, it runs beautiful on Windows 11. So, so yeah, here you go. Windows 11 running on a 2010 iMac. Beautifully. Um, I will definitely use this a little bit because I want to know how it works, if we have any blue screens, if we have any driver-related issues. What do I know? But it didn't change a thing on the drivers. And I think that was the best idea. If I were to install it, you know, fresh, I think we wouldn't have such a great experience now. I even found here an old file that I think I kept around just for the, just in case. I think this is the boot camp um, that I installed, but yeah, I'm not really sure about that. There's also the NVIDIA flashing uh, utility and all that, and the ROM for the card, but yeah would i have guessed that i ever run windows 11 on this nah but here you go amazing